Right, what we'll do there is we'll just use a wee needle here to do this detached body. So we're just going to set on the silk here. This is the black thread. So what we do, we just catch him on here. We come up the needle a wee bit, then just coming back to about that position there. What we're going to do is take a wee bunch of deer here. And what we're going to do, we're just going to pull out the fibres. Get rid of all that wee fluey stuff. Then what I do is we're just going to catch that on. So it's just sitting like that. And we're just going to put a, a few wraps on. Just coming up the hook. Just secure it in. Then we'll come back just to the tip of the needle. And if you put your finger there, you can just feel where the tip is. So we get him there, and then we're just going to splay those back up the hook. Three turns. Come forward, three turns. Three turns. I'm just going to repeat that process all the way up. You see, it just gives that wee segment effect. And once we get to there, what we're going to do is just get the thread and just tie off like such. Don't need to varnish or anything on that. Then what we do, you just get that and just slide it gently off the needle. And you'll see that you've got the wee flues left on there. So what we do, just trim those off like such. That's ready for going on to the actual detached body. Now we're ready for putting the body onto the actual hook. I'm using a Camasan B170, so what we're going to do, just a quarter of the way down the hook, we're just going to set the silk. So just bring in the thread, just shy of the bend, and then we're coming back two thirds. Once we've got them on there, Get the detached body, set it on, and just where the splay end is, we're just going to catch that in, and then where the segments are, three turns on two of the segments, coming back, that's him set into there. Next thing we're going to do is the legs, and this is the knotted claret legs that I done last night. So what we're going to do, just going to put three sets of legs on each side, so catch one on one side, pinch and loop, catch them in, and we're going to do the same on the other side, just catch that in. then bring your thread forward, just catching that all in, and then just to trim off the waist. Next thing on this one, here's the wings. So I'm using a, a dyed brown cape. You just get two hackle tips, level them up, put them on the, the top here, hold them in, pinch and loop. Just catch them in, like right, such. Get rid of the waist, bring the hackle tips up. And what we do, just gonna put a couple of turns at the back just to lift them up a bit and we're going to figure of eight to get these wings to sit out spent so we're just going through just maneuver them into position like such I like to put plenty of wraps on make sure that they just stay out there then just come back a couple of turns now the hackle what I'm using is a furnace hackle, natural. So we're just going to catch that in, tie that, bring the thread forwards. Start at the back. I'm just going to wind that hackle in. I'm 
give this a nice good bushy hackle on this. Come forward, do the same there. Just bring that forward. Catch that in. Tie that off. Trim it off there. And to finish the fly off, the same thing again. Three sets of legs, one on each side. Two. Just hold them like that there. Just catch them in. Same on the other side. Hold it in there. Just catch them in. And I just trim off the waist. Once he's done there, what we're going to do is just build up a wee head. Lip finish. Once we've done that there, a couple of coats of varnish. And what I usually do, just on the last segment of the, of the pattern, just run a bit of the varnish around there. Just secures that body to the there. So there we go. That's my version of the crane fly, or commonly known here as the daddy long legs. Marvellous fly. There's been a few hatches on the locks over here at the moment. So as I say over here in Ireland, happy wrappings.